today I will be doing a video on Not Okay. This isn't going to be a traditional movie review. It's more so a commentary on the message of the film and hypocrisy and racism surrounding the message. We follow a white woman named Danny who works at some company as a journalist. She feels inadequate, but at the same time, she comes off as an ingrate. She comes from a well-off family and has a cute, quirky apartment with her cute, quirky, white liberal New York City job. She remains unnoticed by the guy she likes and by her peers because she is simply mediocre. Yeah, she's white, young, conventional looking, and comes from wealth, but that's not what's going to make people like you. Her wealth and skin color got her to where she is now, but she's still unsatisfied in all of her mediocrity. She's so desperate for attention, she starts photoshopping pictures of herself on vacation in Paris, unaware of the fact that a terrorist attack is about to take place. And it ends up changing her life for the better, and she becomes more self-absorbed while also hijacking a black girl's traumatic experiences for her own think pieces that she has to write for work. Now, the movie has a prominent message about white women and their privilege, white feminism, and using black voices for personal gain. The movie itself isn't what I want to talk about. The film itself is entertaining enough, but forgettable, and has pacing issues. But what I really want to talk about is the hypocrisy of the message. Hollywood likes to pat itself on the back when talking about white privilege, but they continue to center the movie around white characters. Why isn't the movie centered around the black girl with a more interesting story? Why isn't the story about her and then having this white woman come into her life? Why does it have to be about the plight of a white woman? I also did think the movie was ironic towards the end, where this black biracial character was calling out the disrespect of the white lead character, when the movie itself shows racist imagery. This is very common in movie nowadays. Hollywood has a very big colorism problem when it comes to black women. On two different occasions, they show a dark-skinned, morbidly obese woman sitting on the ground surrounded by thin white people. And this was deliberate. But when they have this biracial, brown-skinned, racially ambiguous character with loose textured hair who is an upstanding citizen and is respected in her community and has a huge following and overcame all of these obstacles and gives a powerful speech at the end, the movie is talking about racism while at the same time attributes all of these positive qualities to the racially mixed character and all of the negative stereotypes to the dark-skinned woman who didn't add anything to the movie. This homeless woman doesn't add anything to this movie, barely says anything or does anything. She just sits on the ground. She's just there to make the thin white characters look more desirable. She's just there to show black people are doing bad and white people are doing good, all while having a mean look on her face and a sassy attitude. It's not even funny. It feels very outdated and it's very offensive. 